I'm going to work example 16.5. Okay, we have a, a window here, and it is opened using this hydraulic cylinder. So this thing right here extends out in this direction at a constant rate, a constant speed of 0.5 meters per second. All right, um, they want to know what the angular velocity is and the angular acceleration when this angle right here makes it to 30 degrees. Okay, so, or at the instant it's 30 degrees, so it's a little different. Um, first we need to do a little bit of geometry. Um, I'm missing some coordinates real quick. Uh, this distance and this distance are both one meter. All right, um, and this distance is two meters. Okay, I think that's everything. So it's rotating about this point O here as the length AB extends upward at a constant rate. So what is the omega and alpha of the window and the window is this part right here all right so let's do some geometry um, let's draw a sorry here's a b that's a horrible line dude and that is o b so we know this is one meter. We know this is two meters. And we are going to use this as our theta. So we can say s squared using law of cosines is two squared plus one squared plus two times two times one times the cosine of theta. And that gives me s squared is equal to 5 minus 4 cosine theta. All right, so important note, this just gave us s as a function of theta. s is a function of theta. Okay, um, we're going to use that. And... First, we can figure out when theta is 30 degrees, what is s? Um, plugging in, we can get s as 1.239 meters. All right, we're going to use that later. Um, as we take derivatives, we'll need to plug that in. Yay, we get to take derivatives. So, um, we have this equation right here. I'll copy it right down, right down again. Um, S squared is equal to 5 minus 4 cosine of theta. And let's take the time derivative of the whole thing. So using the chain rule, we're going to get... Two S times ds dt, taking the derivative, then multiplying by s dot. And right hand side gives us a zero uh, minus four is a constant, derivative of cosine is minus sine. And then don't forget to multiply, in this case, by d theta dt. Um, this is the velocity in the s direction that was given to us. That's the 0.5 meters per second. That's how fast the cylinder is extending up this way. Um, we also know d theta dt. We don't know it, but we can recognize it as omega. So let's say 2s is I'm sorry, 2s is equal so 
sorry. I'm gonna solve. Just leave it as s times the velocity of s, we have two on each side, is equal to 2 times the sine of theta times omega. I'm going to call that equation 2. Um, this is where a lot of people would stop and get half of the problem correct because we know v of s is equal to 0 0.5 meters per second. We also know that they're concerned with 30 degrees. And we know theta. We know v of s. We can find omega. So the angular velocity comes out to be 0 0.620 radians per second, if you round it. Um, that's one answer, but we got to go back to equation number two and take another time derivative to get the acceleration. So I'm just going to copy it down again. We have S Vs is equal to two times the sine of theta times omega. All right, um, take the time derivative using the product and chain rule. We will get, um, this one is just the product rule on both sides, uh, the derivative of s with respect to time times the velocity of s plus s times the derivative of the velocity of s with respect to time, and that's going to equal a 2. We'll get a cosine theta and a d theta dt in an omega term. And then we're going to get a 2 sine theta times a d omega dt term. All right, this is alpha. This thing right here is an omega the time derivative of theta with respect to time. This is the acceleration of s, which is zero. They told us it was extending at a constant velocity, which is v of s. And ds dt is also v of s. So rewriting this whole thing, we get the velocity of s squared plus s times the acceleration, go ahead and put it in there for now, is equal to 2 times the cosine of theta times omega squared plus 2 times the sine of theta times alpha. All right, so that one is 0. And we know everything but alpha. We can say alpha is equal to a negative 0.415 radians per second squared. All right, so we have our omega and we have our alpha for the window.